What's up, planner babe? This is Arlie Plans. My name is Arel. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot, hot minute. I haven't been on YouTube in months, and if you guys follow me on Instagram, you kind of know like what happened, like transitioning into my planning style. Um, I have moved on from decorative planning, and I am venturing um, the world of minimalistic planning and actually being more productive um, in terms of you know, like actually planning and doing things instead of like decorating, planning, and then more decorating. So it's more of like a productive slash like minimal crap. I don't know. But yeah, so you get my point. So I transitioned from using the hobby planner and decorating with stickers every week and planning all that stuff um, into just like using like simple inserts and like using stickers still but not as much so it's all like pen and yeah so you'll get a much better idea when I flip through my current planner right now so if you guys want to see that keep watching <laughs> I went from a disc bound um, planner to rings. So I had rings before. Um, this was way back when I got um, started getting into planning in the, in the beginning. And I believe I had an E5, but I don't know what I was doing. Like it was really pissing me off. Like I didn't have the right puncher. I hated printing inserts. <laughs> so I went back to the hobby planner because everything was just there. and. The disc bound system was like so so easy to use and that's when I was still discovering what kind of like plan planner that I wanted to be and during that time um, decorating every week and planning was um, my jam so I was in more into more in the creative planning um, style but this time I have transitioned into the minimalistic life and I went back into rings okay so my planner itself this is a Louis Vuitton um, MM I believe I'm still learning the lingo and I the MM is a personal size and I don't really know they have like names for these planners like I am still like learning what they are but um, yeah it's like it's just like really really gorgeous like black um, checkered like pa pattern and it smells amazing like I like it still smells like it's brand new I've had this for um, like almost a month now or two months um, I first started using a Filofax um, personal in stone which is like the really gorgeous gray one but um, my aunt was going to Italy and she said that she was gonna like shop for purses at Louis Vuitton and I'm like oh my god if you see a planner like can you get me one and she, yeah she did so this is what I got and it's absolutely gorgeous. So let us open her up. Um, so I don't have a lot of like stuff going on in my pockets. I've been like experimenting like what I should do like as far as the pockets. And so far like this is, I, I like this. Like I am not into putting a lot of crap in there because it does get bulky and I hate like writing. Like let's say I'm writing on like this page and then like it's, it's bulky and it pisses me off. So <laughs> the less, the better. So I just have like little trinkets right here. This is a pin. Um, this is the golden snitch from Frank Hart's Hue. So it's like that magnetic pin, which is like really cool. I love magnetic pins cause you can like put them in your planner so you don't have to like actually like puncture through like leather or whatever. So I like these. Um, this is just like little page flags of like page flags <laughs> a set of page flags that I got from AliExpress and then this card right here is from I believe the planner spot if I'm not mistaken yes and then it just has like my information like my name my address and all that and then this is a clip from Sessa V I just have an extra that I keep here just in case um, I need it to like mark a page or something so I was debating on using this as, like, as a wallet as well, and I've tried it for like a week, and I honestly didn't like it. I don't know if it's because it's like way too big, or if I should like consider using a pocket, but I haven't had a pocket planner before, so I'm, I don't think I'm 
going to do that. So I think I still want my wallet and my planner to be separate. So I'm just gonna keep these like card um, pockets over here like empty unless like I actually have a use for them. Like if I have like important cards that I need to put on here, then I can put them on there. Okay, so um, this is like a little page um, like protector. Um, I think I got it from like a cloth and paper order and I just like punch like holes in it so I can use this to protect my little cover vellum because my vellum is like actually ripped already and I still um, I'm like lazy to replace it because I just made this myself so I just like downloaded this SVG it's like Harry Potter icons and then um, did it like with my name on it this planner belongs to and then it has my name and then printed on vellum and then just um, put some holographic foil so I think that's really pretty. And then this is from another vellum. I got it as a digital from BG Alary, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, everything I mentioned, I will link down below for your a reference. But yeah, so I'm like learning like all the things, like what the minimal planners like do on Instagram, like layering vellum. So it's kind of like there is still a bit of like creative side to it even if like you don't like put like stickers on your weekly spread all the time which I like you know you still have like you can still put a little bit of like your personality like in your planner even if like your focus is actually being productive and actually just like planning itself so I have like a few sections right here these are from dividers are us so I have five um side tabs and then I have four um, top tabs right here also from Divider for Us and I just label them with my label maker as far as sections so I've been playing with my sections a lot and so far when I finally planned it out what my what the purpose of this planner was gonna be which is like my everyday carry and just like the important like stuff I was gonna say shit but I can say shit right okay yeah so just the important shit um, that I want to keep track of um, I did intend it to be like a catch-all that has like every bit of information that I need maybe question mark on some days but not really like reference but I don't really need to like reference them like every single day so that's the purpose of like my other planner that I am setting up right now it's not to replace my planner this personnel is actually to complement the this planner right here so it is still gonna be my main planner and it has like you know the nitty-gritty planning all that stuff so my first like section is my inbox um, these two this card I believe is from um, segments and paper and then this is from the planner spot and I have this little little tiny paper clip from cloth and paper um, it's from their sub box it's absolutely gorgeous it's so cute um, I made this dashboard um, I have a lot of quotes on here because I do love quotes um, like you know ever since and I still want to have that in my planner but I'm just giving them a more minimalistic feel this quote is from Daniel Doby and all of my quotes in this planner are actually from her so and I just love this quote so much give yourself permission to be where you are and still be loved for it like it absolutely is like the greatest reminder ever so I have this cloth and paper dashboard and box thing and I just have two um, sticky notes here that I can use like whenever like all around my planner this is from the planner spot and this is from AliExpress so I have this Falfax bookmark thingy that it actually has like slits on it so I can just like transfer wherever um, all around my planner in case I need to mark something important so that's really good and I have these inserts um, from Peanuts Planner Co and it just has the caption or the headline like add to planner so I guess people use it in different ways so I think I'm just like adding writing stuff that like oh I need to do this or I need to like um, put this one thing and then add it to like a specific day or a week like in my planning or actually add some things like in my planner like here I need to print the EO edits travel insert and I need to put it in my personal so that's just how my inbox is um, a lot of people that I've noticed like they actually use their inbox religiously like put to-do lists like 
there's just like days or most of the days like I am not busy <laughs> I actually don't have a life <laughs> so like when it comes to work I'm a nurse so I don't really have a lot of like stuff that I need to do outside of work for work if um, you get my meaning because when I'm at work like I'm at work so I like I'm a floor nurse I take care of like my patients and then go home and then that's pretty much it like sometimes I write like meetings like if we have like a staff meeting or like um, education stuff that I have to do but not like crazy and then as far as like life itself like I'm single or like I'm in a relationship but I don't have like I'm not married I, I don't have kids so I'm not too crazy to like you know warrant a to-do list of like oh my god like I need to look at this to-do list like right away like first thing in my planner so that's what I'm using my inbox for now um so next section is plan so this is like the bulk of my planner this is like the calendar weekly monthly all that stuff so this card is from Infinite Lotus. I just have it clipped right here. Um, this is also from Infinite Lotus. I love this um, quote that says conquer from within. And I like the quality of like the paper vellum thingy. Like I'm trying to figure out like where they got this from because I really want to make stuff for myself. And then this again is from the Gio Larry, like the um, digital. So I printed this um, on acetate this time and kind of like um, layers that way. This is from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, it has like a yearly overview, but I just used like this half, I think, like the other side of this insert. There's more like detailed stuff that you can plan out for the year, but I just used like the calendar itself. And I just marked the days or the months that have been done um, that are over. And these stickers are just from Mama Jean um, Designs. So I have this insert like the yearly goals from cloth and paper that we got from the recent set box I haven't filled it out yet um, I think I'll use this to actually like pre-plan what I want to do for 2020 which is around the corner we're already in September um, yeah so it's like never too late or never too early to start planning your goals like for the year so I'll do those and then next I made this like vellum and it just has my monthly routine that I try my hardest to actually do. So like I, in an ideal world, Arel sets goals, plan, budget, cleans, and thinks of projects and then do my end of month review, memory keep, and then prep for the next month every month. Like planning, setting goals, budgeting and then maybe prepping I do every month but as far as like the memory keeping and then like cleaning it just depends on my mood and like if there's actually a lot of things that I need to do so yeah but I still keep it here you know just to remind myself like yo you need to do this and I just have this like paper from Michael's it's just like a cardstock with like a little embossed like hearts. I don't know if you guys can see that like in the camera, but it's really pretty. And then I have this journaling card that I just put some washi on it. It just says be the girl of your dreams. I love that. So next up is like my weekly section. So I made this vellum right here that says weekly. And then this is again from um, that digital shop, BG O'Leary. God, I hope I'm like saying like the name right, but I'll link it down below. Like she had um, like earthy tones, like type of um, digitals, and I printed it on vellum, and I like how it layers with my weekly. So I don't keep the rest of like the whole year in here. So I just started using my rings back in like beginning middle of July, and then I use like the entire um, month of August, like using my personal but this like planner doesn't really give you a lot of like space like I'm not sure I think the rings are not 30 I think they're like 28 millimeter rings maybe all I know is it doesn't hold a lot of stuff and when I started using it I actually like filled it to a point where I can't even like turn pages and I just got really overwhelmed like I don't need all this like crap like in here so I just like kept the ones that I really really need and so far with what I ended up with it's been okay so I have like September right now which is what which is our current month right now 
So this is like the page or like monthly like covers and I I just bought them for the covers itself. So I have September, um, October somewhere, November and then December. And then they have like their own like monthly like calendar view, but I actually just like stuck it together because I just wanted this for you know aesthetic purposes. <laughs> and I kind of and it made it like the paper like a little thicker, so it actually can be a little bit of a marker. So you have September, and then I am using um, the stuff that I got from the sunbox again from Cloth and Paper. So this has like the monthly type of like overview. I like that it has birthdays. Um, events and then like a whole like to-do list like for the whole month. Um, I'm not really sure that I'm gonna be using the Wheel of Habits because I have a wellness journal right now and that's where I would like to keep track of the habits that I do but I mean it's nice that it's here. So I just have that filled out and then I have the monthly itself so I am using just like you know minimalism at its finest. Yeah, I use stickers but like not enough to like you know they like grab your attention but not too much so these stickers right here are from cloth and paper um, this like little class um, <laughs> my friends and I go into the mojito margarita festival um, that's coming to town so I just have that to market and then um, my family and I are going to see Joko he is a Filipino um, Stand up, which he's like internationally famous and he's like super hilarious. So he's gonna be in town and just to mark that. And then these like clear or transparent like dot stickers right here, these are from Honey Inked. I believe the cotton paper and Erin Condren has like similar ones, and I have all of them. Like, the more dot stickers I have, the better. Um, but this month I wanted to use like what it looked like, and I like that I can still see the dates. So these are actually markers for my work days this month. And then, so the weekly insert that came with this is actually like the vertical and line, but I still like using my Infinite Lotus um, weekly inserts. So this is my current week right now. Um, I like how it so simple. I still love the vertical layout. Um, it's what I've been using ever since, like even with the happy planner and all that. So I just like seeing my whole week, like right here. And this is where I do the bulk of my planning. Um, I sometimes use like daily inserts, but not all the time. There's just like days where, when I, if I have a lot of like shit that I need to do, or I need to actually schedule my like day by the hour, I have to. I I can use it, but. For the most part, this is what I need and I'm usually like happy just with this. So I, I like that it has priorities. Let me just show you like a blank one. So it has like priorities and like whatever I need to do this week. And usually I do like a happy mail um, list and then here are some things that I need to remember or like need to do um, for the week itself, but not necessarily on a specific day. But I like how simple and minimal like it is. It's freaking great. So moving on, I did um, fill this out. So this is, so for the Infinite Lotus like inserts, by the end of the month, it does come with like these like accomplishments, gratitude, lessons learned, and memories. Let me grab one on this to show you um, what I did. So this is what my August like looked like. It's kind of the wrong place. Show you like my nails. <laughs> okay, so this is what I did with like my August um, from the Infinite Lotus like insert. So I just like wrote all my you know accomplishments for the month, like what I was grateful for, what I learned, and then just like a picture, um, some like photos, and then like little highlights of my trip to Seattle with my boyfriend. So that was really nice. And I really like that. So, um, and it's the only like insert so far that I've seen that has that. So it has like minimal planning and all that element, but it also has like that memory keeping slash monthly review um, portion to it. So which I like. So as far as marking, um, this um, bookmark actually came free with my um, Divided Star Us order, and it used to just be like punched 
and I kind of just like cut like little slits on it so that I can just like take it off and put it on like as easily. And then this is um, another sesame clip and then I really really like this bookmark which is from Dreamy & Co and it just has one of my favorite book quotes of all time, Don't Let the Hard Days Win, um, from the A Court in Thorns and Roses series. I have that bookmark like everywhere or that I like seeing it every time. And then this is from Sequins and Paper and I just like this coat as well. So moving on. So I have like October again and then I have this like little half sheet which is like so awesome. This is from Jane's Agenda and this is where I just like do slight kind of like pre-planning or like write the important dates that I need to remember for the upcoming month and I have them for every upcoming month. So I have from November and then December. So that is my 2019. So I don't like, I just keep the beginning. So this is like from Infinite Lotus. So this is like the start of like the month it has top goals important dates and then a running to-do list as well and this is what their monthly looks like and then i just keep that i don't keep like the rest of like the weeks until like you know the actual month is coming up so maybe around the middle of september i'm gonna start putting in the october on here because i really don't want my planner to get like super bulky like like i said like i i don't like it like chunky planners are like so like pleasing to other people for me it's like no it's just just way way too much so I have a 20 20 year at a glance little vellum thing from pocket paper I have an overview that I got and so far I just have um one thing written down for April next year my friends and I are going to Japan which is super exciting but so far that's all I have but it's nice to keep this here just in case something big is coming up and I need to write it down. So next section will be like the adulting section. So I just have this, um, another uh, dashboard from cloth and paper, it just says be bold, love that. And then again, this is another digital that I printed off on acetate to kind of layer that in there. And so adulting is actually my finance slash budget section. It, wasn't gonna fit because I like how I typed it with like little spaces in between the words and when I printed the finance one it was way too long and it didn't really match like the size of the letter so I just did an adult because you know finance and budgeting is such an adulting thing to do so uh, that's what I did um I have this little card I believe this is also from sequence and paper it says act your wage and then this clip right here, I believe it's from Ikea actually. I think I got it from Ikea. And then this is, you know, to remind myself there is luxury in simplicity. Also from Cloth and Paper. So I have this, another Daniel Joby quote, little dashboard thing. It says you are a match for your mountain. Love that. And then on the back, so I have the Sesavi um, sticky note and I actually stuck the seven baby steps from David Ramsey. And this was from the financial um, like planner cards from Sequins and Paper. Just a little reminder for myself. And then for this sticky note, I wrote like some of the stuff that I need to pay as far as like to other people, not bills. Like my friend Aletta, like she bought our tickets to Japan, so I need to pay her this month. And then tickets like um, to see um, Jokoi, so I need to pay my aunt for that too. So the bills and spending is what I keep track in this planner. Before I need, I before when I set up my whole planner in the beginning, I wrote, I put all like my debt tracker, like, you know, financial goals, and it was like way too much. And I'm like, I don't need to really keep track of this like every single day because I open like my planner every single day. And I don't think I need to keep track of that. And since I bring it everywhere, like I'm a little, you know, I kind of don't want other people to see like my current debt situation too. So for now, I'm just gonna do bills and then spending. So this um, method right here, I kind of just like, so I can like easily access. So this is, these are like the clear um, page tabs from Office Depot and they're actually like this like shape, but I just like cut them down and then I put like little, little labels on them like bills and then spending. 
So it's a four September. Um, both I'm using um, inserts from Infinite Lotus. So I, it's just like a running list of bills that I need to pay for this month. So for September, all the bills are here. And then I just marked these ones like with little dots that are auto pay. Just so I know that like, oh, on this day, like money's gonna go off of go out in my account because like they're gonna charge me for this and that so yeah so like I like the list part um, I was debating whether to do a calendar view of it as well because I do like that view also it's a lot useful but the list is also useful so I'm just gonna go with the list for now um, this is again from sequence and paper as well um, from the financial finance um, planner cards and then I have a bill again right here, so I'm going to use this for October. And then for expenses, which I haven't filled out yet. So the way I do it is actually, I for my August, I did like categorize it. That's what I've been doing even um, with my hobby planner. I categorize like my expenses, like, you know, like necessities, hobbies, um, food, or like going out and stuff. But it was getting a little too much and sometimes like one insert doesn't like fit everything so I think I'm gonna do like colors like highlight like whatever category it is and then just like make a little budget for it and then kind of um, you know analyze like how my spending is because I really need to work on my budgeting I really need to work on my spending because I am like the fact that I switched to like the minimalist the minimalistic planning is also because of like the spending because I I love, love um, buying like all the stickers and like all the new planners, but I know that it was just getting way too much and it's like, it's more than, it's actually a lot more than what I need. So the fact that I'm in this minimalistic like planning, I don't have to spend a lot of money-ish maybe. <laughs> uh, I have to like compare like my notes like I have like I spend money on inserts and all that like accessories and everything but I think I still spent a lot more money with like when I was um, with the happy planner so we'll see so I just have this insert from infinite lotus to track my spending and that's my adulting slash finance section it's pretty simple and and actually it's just what I need um, in my planner as far as like every day but in the other planner that I am setting up it's gonna be more in-depth as far as like what my financial journey is my financial goals and all of the rest of yeah so next up is my work section this is another Daniel Adobe quote that I made and this printed out that um, this um, dashboard right here is from caffeine and plans so hannah like on her instagram she has like an order form of like little dashboards that she made um that are available in different sizes so i have that plus you get it girl yes so my work section i have i have like a little um title or page here or guide of what's in my work section so i just have two fold outs and then I have like a little legend of like what each color means as far as the highlight um, in those foldouts. So this is from, I believe, Simply Trendy and Co. It's just like a little grid um, note paper. And then this foldout right here is from Peanuts Planner Co. So this first foldout is actually to keep track of the days that I've worked, like ever. So I actually had to um, look at my time um, keeping from the beginning of the year because obviously I didn't start this planner until July but I just wanted to see like how many days I've worked like so the yellow ones are my regular days and then these blue ones are green these green ones are extra shifts and then I believe the pink ones are when I got canceled so like June obviously I got really busy I had one two three four five six seven seven extra shifts that month it's insane yes and then here i have july and then august and then obviously um, i've actually been off for like a week since the 28th of august and i'm back to work tonight so i work tonight thursday the 5th and then just mark that and then this next um fold out right here 
I actually just like put washi on here because this is actually like the beginning of the year and I didn't use it. So this is actually to just track um, the days that I signed up for. So every month our schedule opens for us to sign up and I think a, week, a month later the schedule that we signed up for comes out. So for September on the 8th, it actually opens, but it's going to open for the schedule in November because I already we already signed up for the schedule on October and then that's what I did as far as the highlights. These are the days that I signed up for and it's not really a guarantee that I always like get the days that I signed up for you know that I'm not, I'm going to get I'm going to get those days approved. So it's nice to like keep track. I also have it on my phone, but it's also nice like here in my planner that like okay, I signed up to work on September like the 12, 13 and 14. And then in my schedule like you're going to actually get it. So and then I just have like little dates here that I need to keep track of so that I don't accidentally schedule myself like on the 21st I'm gonna go to the Mojito Festival so obviously I don't need to schedule myself to work that day and then same goes for um, the rest of the year and then this again is from Peanuts Planner Co. this is like a list um, one of like her lists um, inserts and this is where where I just like keep track of like my holidays so um, all the employees, since I'm a nurse, I work in a hospital, we don't have any holidays, and, but the unit that I work for, um, we actually have, like, they, like, group us into three, and we wear, like, holiday tracks every year, like, different holiday tracks every year. So this year, I, will, I worked on Martin Luther King Day, Memorial Day, Flowers Day, I'm gonna work Christmas Eve, and then New Year's Eve, and then for the next year, it'll be an entirely different, um, holidays that I'm gonna work, so I'm not necessarily gonna work the same holiday every single year unless I choose to like I switch with someone usually I like working New Year's Eve um, it's always been I think I've only worked like I didn't work New Year's Eve like at the very beginning when I first came to America but ever since I started working in a hospital I always work New Year's Eve so that is my work section so the next section that I have is just like miscellaneous uh, I have another Daniel Doby um, dashboard right here I have this um, vellum that says as it should be by cloth and paper so I haven't really decided like what these sections are that's why they don't have um, labels on them but it's kind of just like a whatever so I think I kind of like unintentionally so this like first section is just lists and then are the, just like little notes and then the next is lists and then the next is like travel stuff and then the rest is like house whatever stuff so I just have like an order tracker over here from um, Infinite Lotus I have so the new planner that I'm setting up is an A5 so I just like have a list of like stuff that I needed to buy to put my planner together this is my setup currently right now and I think this is what it is like this is my like this current setup right now um, and then this is just like a random stuff that I do that I needed to do with my credit cards I need to get my name changed so I just keeping track of like the cards that I've received already some wellness journal ideas so I just have like random file facts um, note pages I have just like really ideas and then when you just like have an idea in your head that just you just want to like write on paper so like in 2021 I plan on moving out so I have like sesame um, dot grid um, note paper which is really pretty so next is just like the list so I love this master list um, insert from infant lotus and right now these are just like the video games that I, I like to play um, like another like wish list oh this is from cloth and paper this time and then I wrote a um, video game um, wish list as well and then the last section or the third to the, second to the last section um, oh I think I just like flipped this over so I can use this page I didn't want to throw it away so this is my travel like stuff that are upcoming so in December my Siblings and I are going to go to Disney World, 
So these are just like little like tidbits that I need to keep track of. Um, I'm going to Japan, like I said, for next year, so I just have a list for that. These are the list of like places that I want to go to because um, we're going to do um, not just like Tokyo. We're going to do uh, Tokyo, Osaka, Kyoto, and a day trip to Mount Fuji, actually, which is pretty exciting. Um, I have a travel wish list, all that. And then I have like these, which are resources, contacts. So these are all like my um, like health related resources. So I have my primary care physician, my dentist, my ophthalmologist, my dermatologist, my therapist, and my OBGYN. So I kind of want to just like keep track because usually like when you're when you're filling out like a health, um, like you're like going to a doctor for the first time and then like you always I always have to like Google because I don't know what the address is. I don't know like what the phone number is by heart. So I like how now I have it all in one place and I can reference that. So this um, resources insert is from Peanuts Planet Co. And this is again from Peanuts Planet Co. I like this um, for like sections, which you can use for like anything. So I guess this one I just use it for like house stuff and car stuff. So um, like important house stuff, like what like um, my car's information is, um, some dates that I need to keep track of, and then like what's in my car. And then I keep several cloth and paper daily inserts over here in case I need to use them. Um, and then I used to have like a daily section. I divided the monthly, weekly, and then daily. But um, I think what I'm going to do is just like take this off and actually put it in the middle of like the week itself because like I said I don't use the dailies every day just you know occasionally and then I have this um felt um pocket folder this is from Sessa V I have their um sticky notes as well and then I have some stickers that I like to bring along with me I have like an, a little accordion folder with like all the stickers minimalistic stickers that I have but since I don't really plan something like on the go, I usually just like keep these, like the more important ones. So this is from Cloth and Paper, also from Cloth and Paper, and then this is from Planners? No, this is from Banana Doodles, and then from Planner Monkey Co. I just have those, and I have another one right here. This is from Banana, Banana Doodles as well. So I have those like very important like essential like, stickers um, that I keep track of or that I have and I just have this um, die cut that says you are absolutely fucking lovely enough also from banana doodles and on this like pocket right here I have the black sticky notes from cloth and paper and then the transparent sticky notes from cloth and paper just in case that I need those and then this um, pocket right here this is from Filofax, like a zipper pocket, and then I just have like little, like all the cards that I need. So this is my nursing license, my insurance, car insurance, health insurance, car stuff, more car stuff, and my Costco card. <laughs> so I have these. I think I put these on here when I was using my planner as a wallet. But I never took them off and I, I, I like them being in there. Um, so the only thing my downside is with this planner, my pen doesn't fit and I really don't want to like keep pushing it in there because I really don't want to mess up like the leather. So my favorite pen of all time is the Pilot G2 with a 0.38. So I kind of just like clip it right here and not like use the pen loop at all. I have these sticky notes from um, the planner spot that just came in with the sub box, and then I have this other one. This is from Poing and Hun journaling card that says, Don't be busy, be productive. Um, and then these little sticky notes from cloth and paper. And then I have another Sesame clip that has this like journaling card clip that says, Don't be a lady, be a legend. I'm like, Heck, y'all. So that is it like that's my personal rings everyday carry planner 
So it's like, it's super simple. Like my planning system has not usually, that's how it's always been, even with like the hobby planner, but it's like such a big difference as well, like the way it looks and like it's not as, I don't know, pressuring. Um, yeah, like being in that, um, you, like the pressure of having to like decorate your spread and then like plans later and I don't even like have stuff or time to do like the things that I need to do because I'm like busy decorating and all that, which was all fun and also like really therapeutic at a time. But um, I've noticed like these past few months, I think around like March, like April-ish around that time, it was becoming more of a chore than like something therapeutic. So I know like something needed to change. So hence this. So this is my current planner right now so far, but I'm just using for planning itself. I have two more planners that I, um, planning on using or I started using my wellness journal which is a half um half uh, junior size like this bound um it's not really finished yet as far as the setup I have been using the inserts already to um you know journal my week and my days but as far as like decorative part of it which will will it will be um more decorative than this one um it's not yet done but this is a notebook from tool so love that and then I am also setting up my A5 which is in the pile of bags this is actually like the first time I'm showing this in any form of like social media I haven't um, shown this on Instagram yet because I'm still like setting it up but it's almost done I'm just waiting for like things to arrive in the mail but as far as like the contents, it's all like ready to go. So I'm really excited. I will be doing a flip of this once everything is ready. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, it's good to be back and not really sure how the frequency of these um, upcoming YouTube videos are going to be because I'm not gonna be like, you know, doing weekly spreads and all that stuff anymore. But definitely will update like put it on YouTube if like something changed in my planning system and then I still have to like brainstorm some ideas on what to put on this um, channel now I'll still probably do like memory keeping and stuff once I get a hang of it and still because I'm still in the process of like purging um, getting rid of like happy planner stuff and other like decorative planner shit that I know that I'm not gonna use anymore but there's like still some that I'm going to keep of course to like for memory keeping and other things cool yeah so again thank you so much for watching if you do like this video please please hit the thumbs up button and of course if you want to see more content from me myself and i don't forget to subscribe see you guys bye